And you know, this song is funny because this was actually the last, um, the last lyrics to be written for the whole project, I guess ended up being the one that of course kind of, I maybe I guess connected with people the most or at least has so far. And, and um, if I think about it, you know, those lyrics, I guess maybe sum up everything that we do, but most definitely this project. And um, God's always calling us further. He's always calling us deeper. I think sometimes our prayer and our confession is, you know, like, God, I want you to take me deeper. I want to know more of you. I want to do more for you. We always want to do more for God. Like, that's what God's after. God's not looking for us to do more for him. He's actually just looking for more of us, more of our heart. And when he gets more of our heart, more of our attention, more of our affection, more of our trust, then he's able to do more through us. And, and I feel like, you know, sometimes if we would understand, you know, that God's grace, it's, it really isn't performance-based. He just, His grace is there for you, just for who you are, and that's enough. And, uh, and you know, this song, you know, the, the, the bit at the end, which we all know, it says, you know, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me more walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. People love that line, and that's cool, but sometimes I just think we're just not prepared to get out of our comfort zone. <laughs> we can sing it as much as we like, but we've got to be prepared to take that step. And, uh, and so, you know, I'd encourage everyone, whatever that looks like, it's never, you know, what you think it is. You know, if, if I think about Peter on the boat, you know, like, I, it, it would have been a pretty exhilarating thing to jump out there on the seas with Jesus. But at the same time, there was probably a whole lot of other things that would have been like way more awesome in the moment because it was stormy. They were, they were kind of freaking out. And, uh, and I dare say it's never what you think it is. You maybe, you want to serve God. You, you want you know, people to recognize your ministry. You want to inspire people. But that's not what the step is. The step is being a, a faithful husband or a faithful wife or being a, faithful child and honoring your parents or it might be just being a great friend and giving up some time to hang out with somebody who needs some time or it might be just serving someone in your community or it might be, you know, taking an extra piece of your day just to to love someone. It's never what you think it is. God's so faithful and, you know, he always wants us to be in a place where we just feel too deep for ourselves and that's where God comes in, that's where he's at his best. When he's the strength in our weakness, it's when we're weak. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, this song, the end goal is actually the last line. I guess maybe, I don't know if people catch it or not, but the end goal of this is that my faith would be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. And uh, that's what this is all about. Let's do it.
I, um, I, think it's, I think it's no coincidence that you have, you know, this account of Peter walking out in the water to, to Jesus and, you know, in the midst of it, taking his eyes off Jesus and losing his way and finding himself in the embrace of his Savior. And then, uh, you know, a couple of short chapters later, you have this account in Matthew 16 where it says, when Jesus arrived in the villages of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples a question. He said, what are people saying about who the Son of Man is? And they replied, some think he's John the baptizer. Some say Elijah. Some say Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. But then he pressed them. He said, how about you? Who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said, you're the Christ, the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus came back, God bless you, Simon, son of Jonah. Because you didn't get that answer out of books or from teachers. My Father in heaven, God himself, let you in on this secret of who I really am. And now I'm gonna tell you who you really are. <laughs> you are Peter, a rock. This is the rock on which I will put together my church, a church so expansive with energy that not even the gates of hell will be able to keep it out. And that's not all. You'll have complete and free access to God's kingdom. Keys to open any and every door no more barriers between heaven and earth, earth and heaven. A yes on earth is a yes in heaven, a no on earth is a no in heaven. And uh, I believe that God does wanna take us deeper and he wants us to be reminded of who he is. And it's easy in an environment like this, you can be in Bible college, you can have been in church forever and you know a lot about God and you know who God is for a lot of other people and I believe that you wouldn't be here if it weren't for some revelation of Jesus, but I think sometimes we have to remind ourselves, you know, like who is Jesus to us? Who is Jesus to me personally? Because it's not enough to, to live your life riding on someone else's faith, because sooner or later, <laughs> you're gonna find yourself denying Christ, you're gonna find yourself like Peter was, ready to be martyred for his faith. At that moment, it's not gonna be somebody else's faith that's gonna keep you, it's gonna be your own revelation of Jesus. And I would challenge every single person here to, to ask yourself that question, Jesus, who are you to me? Who do I say that you are? 